Hello, I'm Kat Morgan from BOMA. Today I'm going to show you how to add a call to action button to an article from the content library. So let's jump on in. Now this article at the top from BOMA is a standalone article versus this article from Zero, which has a call to action already. And you can tell that it does because there's a link underneath. You can hold on the URL and see where that goes to. So this Zero article will have a learn more button that goes to Zero's small business guides for further reading. Now you can remove that button um, if you wish to, instead if you want to send them to your website, that call to action button can be changed. But what I'm going to show you is how to add a new one entirely. So let's jump into this article. So here's the image, a preview of the social post, and the email content. If I scroll down to the bottom, you can see it really kind of finishes off with saying that, you know, we can help you. So let's make it really easy for the reader to get in touch with us if they want further information or our help in this area. We're going to deliver this content as an email. We'll name our campaign and click Start. Right, I'm going to jump straight on in and select a template. I can use a previous email that I've done as a template, but I'm going to create a new one today with the instant template. Here we are in the email uh, editor. This is my empty template, and to find my content, I click on the Rows tab, then simply drag my article into the template, and now I get a chance to customize. As you may have seen from other videos, I can replace this image if I want to. BOMA has an image library of over a million images. I can change any of this text as much or as little as I want. So let's now add in our call to action. So if I click on this content tab, I can reveal additional sections that I can add into my email. In this case, I'll dress drag in that button icon to the bottom of my email template. Now I can customize my button. Click into the button where the label is and update that with whatever is the appropriate call to action, whether it's contact us, learn more, email us, etc. Over on the right hand side now, I need to choose where I'm going to direct my traffic to. Now this button can open a web page, it can send an email make a call or send an SMS message. So there's a bit of flexibility and customization in what happens for the user. We're simply going to send them to a web page in this instance. So I'll just pop in here uh, maybe mywebsite.com forward slash contact. So they'll click on the button and it will pop up immediately with your contact us page. And that's really it. We save and and then we can simply deliver our email once we schedule that. You can, before you um, schedule the delivery, you can send yourself a test email if you want to double check how it looks and send a test email to yourself. So that's it, pretty simple, adding a call to action button to a piece of content. Of course, if one exists, such as the Zero article that we talked about earlier, you can either remove that or uh, amend it um, if you so desire. Thanks for watching, or we'll see you next time.